In Singapore, you would see fortune tellers setting up stands outside temples. Or oh, it'll be this shop house, with this very oriental looking room, and many, many Chinese books stacked on the table. But if you study laws of nature, change is inevitable. So then came the internet and everything changed. I chose to do it over email. I was like, why don't people put it down in writing so that you can always refer back to it? So when our ancestors or the Chinese sages developed this art, they developed these techniques also for survival, to predict the weather, or basically just to help people maneuver their way away from danger la, so that they can be in a safe environment. It's actually no different from what people in, in modern era is trying to you know, find out or achieve. La. Like, okay, do I get a chance to be someone high up in the corporate ladder? If you believe in Ba Zi or understand the philosophies behind Chinese astrology, sometimes things or people just need to go through tougher times la, to be better and to be stronger. And that to our ancestors is natural law. La. There are five elements, Jing Wu, Sui, Huo, Tu. If you are a metal person, which I am, you need fire to come and forge it to bring out metal's best state. Someone's puzzle chart also shows the growth of the person or how life unfolds for them. So if I look back at my past and then I look at my own astrological chart, everything makes sense. So I grew up in a Taiwanese household. La. There were always books on Chinese astrology lying around the house. Never took it seriously until much later in life. You could say it was the lowest point in my life when I was 27, 28. A lot of things went wrong. Relationships went wrong. I tried my hand at entrepreneurship, met the wrong people, lost my life savings. What hit me the hardest was coming to the realization that my family wasn't normal. My childhood memories were just of them fighting, me calling the police to our house. I eventually learned to just turn it all into something constructive and I found meaning in my suffering. One Chinese philosopher that stuck with me through the tough times was Mencius Law. So he had a passage saying that sometimes if heaven wants to bestow onto you big responsibilities, heaven will make you go through hard times. And then when you're ready, heaven will let you know what you're meant to do in this lifetime. La. When I first started, people would be skeptical. It's like, you're so young. It's like, do you really know what you're doing? Is it computer generated? Is it generic? It's not just about getting a report. Then I close the case and I walk away. I'll even share with you my own personal experience and what I feel is the next best course of action for yourself. Or perhaps I could change your perspective of something that's bothering you. And when I say something, I will of course back it up with theory. I can even point to them which Chinese classic I got them to. Eventually, some of them will come back and say, oh, you know what you said came true. That led to me having more confidence in what I was doing. I've had my own chart read by Western astrologers, Vedic astrologers and tarot card readers. The really interesting thing is whoever I go to, no matter what kind of astrology they are practicing, they will tell me the same thing. It touches on what every human being wants. Whether I'll be happy, whether I'll be healthy, what my family will be like. When they come for a chart reading, I guess it's a moment where they let go of the identity that they tie to their religion and then just accept themselves as, you know, a human being trying to figure out their place in the world. And I guess that's what makes everyone and any form of astrology connected lah, in a way. Chinese philosophy gave me the reassurance that how I'm handling my life, how I approach the things that are given to me, be it positive or negative, I will just try to take it and learn something from it. Through the state of balance, the best side of something can be brought out.